Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to talk about the review about the Icon Neo 7 device after using more than 125 days of usage. Yes, friends, it's been more than 125 days of using with the Icon Neo 7 device. And finally, it's a quick review of long-term usage. And recently, I'm getting so many comments on this Icon Neo 7 device as well. So that's what I'm going to explain in this video. How is my experience regarding the overall performance? How is the battery backup? And how is the display? And all other aspects I'll try to discuss in this video. So in case if you want to know more details about this device try to check the playlist videos all the links will be available in the description below for the iconeo 7 device and right now i do have the oneplus nord 3 so in case if you are interested on the oneplus nord 3 videos try try to go to the playlist videos for more information on the oneplus nord 3 as well so first let's get start with the processor so regarding the performance of the device so we just got the dimensity 8200 uh, processor so which is pretty good and finally the pubg game has been updated with the 90 fps in this icon your 7 device so that's kind of pretty good thing so now you'll be able to play at 90 fps in the icon your 7 device in the beginning after the release we didn't get that that kind of 90 fps but later with the pubg update the 90 fps has been updated so regarding the performance wise most of the iq phones are actually uh, designed based on the performance only so you'll definitely get the pretty good experience while gaming so performance wise no doubt friends the icon year 7 has got pretty good uh, stability and very good performance as well in terms of the dimensity 8200 and regarding the temperatures the phone might uh, get up close to 37 and 38 degrees celsius while gaming that's what i did observe so which is pretty normal for the gaming uh, when you try to do the lot of gaming that's something you should know about this device so in my experience most of the games they are kind of pretty much optimized uh, for the 90 fps for example the call of duty and pubg new state and couple of other games as well so even in the throttling i did not see any kind of huge throttling issues in the icon your 7 device so it was able to maintain up to close to 80 percentage most of the time even after doing for 60 minutes and 30 minutes and during these testings i did try to use the 100 threads so which is pretty good so same like the other IQ phones, the performance seems to be kind of pretty good in this IQ Neo 7 device as well. So next thing, let's discuss about the display. The display of this phone, which has got the 120 hertz uh, refresh rate display, so which is nothing much new when compared with the previous IQ Neo 6 device. So which is pretty good and straightforward. And one thing I did observe, the bezels are slightly became slimmer in the new IQ Neo 7 device. When comparing with the previous IQ Neo 6, slightly the bottom bezels become a little bit kind of thin, even the side bezels as well. That's something you should know and in display fingerprint scanner also works pretty good and uh, very accurate no issues with that and outdoor visibility is also pretty good in this icon 7 device and all of the display the viewing angles and the brightness which is pretty good and regarding the saturation levels and the contrast levels are really very good the red and um, green overall the display looks pretty good so the refresh rate is 120 refresh rate as you can see friends so this is the thing about the display so no issues with the display as well with it which is pretty normal and next thing let's talk about the battery backup the phone has got the battery backup of 5000 mAh battery capacity in this device and which is also pretty decent battery backup and using with the 120 watts fast charging the phone can charge within uh, 30 minutes of time 100 percentage and 50 percentage i was able to charge within close to 11 or 12 minutes of time in my testing that's very really decent uh, enough of fast charging for the 5000 mAh of battery if you try to consider in this iqo neo 7 device that's also pretty advantage so battery backup i was able to play like uh, maybe continuous gaming you might get up to six hours of gaming with the pubg new state game and screen on time six and a half hours of screen on time i was able to get in this icon Neo 7 device in my experience of usage and next thing regarding the camera so even the camera the one thing which is missing in this device is that not having the ultra wide lens so there is no ultra wide lens in this device that's the one thing which is missing so definitely if you're trying to pay the premium uh, package for this kind of price range we will be expecting having the all round uh, package like ultra wide lens but they did not include that ultra wide lens and 4k 60 fps you can record without any problem in this uh, icon your 7 device and most of the shots they were, they were able to uh, produce pretty good even with the front cam so front cam is uh, a little bit kind of wide as you can see so it will cover most of the area so without any kind of issues and zooming is also pretty good regarding the zooming quality 
so when you try to take the shots using this uh, iconeo 7 device so overall friends the camera wise this uh, thing you should know about the iconeo 7 it's uh, pretty good and decent for the price so uh, next thing is about the build quality so build quality wise it has got the slightly slim bezels and in display fingerprint scanner and haptic feedback is also pretty decent enough haptic feedback which is also uh, really good while gaming few games are actually supported with the 4d haptic feedback so you can experience the haptic feedback from the top and bottom as well that's something you should know and dual speaker setup which is present which is also a uh, very decent enough for the dual speaker setup so this is my complete review friends about the icon your 7 device overall in my experience uh, right now the price is a uh, kind of close to 28 thousand rupees so for this price it's pretty decent enough price i will definitely say that so there are a couple of bank offers at this moment and we need to see upcoming phone icon neo 8 as well which is going to release very soon maybe in the next couple of months icon neo 8 so with the dimensity 9200 plus chipset the phone gonna come so this with the dimensity 8200 so i think the icon neo series they are trying to use the dimensity process maybe from now that's what we can actually expect but this is a quick uh, review about the icon neo 7 device after using more than 125 days of usage meanwhile signing off friends thank you for watching and connectivity wise the wi-fi 4g 5g is pretty decent in this icon neo 7 device until then stay tuned signing off thank you for watching and bye